The stakeholders approach, if I have to talk in detail, so during my thesis, I had done major surveys, including pilot surveys, what a typical stakeholder will think or what a project consortium stakeholders will think. So there is a total absence of empirical evidence when it comes to green buildings or any green strategies that we are proposing. And uh, that is why it is perceived that green building is a commodity beyond the reach of common man. And just by understanding the way organic things are costly, green buildings are costly. So this was a thought that people were perceiving but not sure because there was no empirical evidence associated with this particular thought. And stakeholders were ignorant. Now ignorance is another important word because they did not know what is to be done related to planning and design part, even the services part. There was no adequate mechanism as well in place that could ensure and continue the best practices and that is why people were not very much for this. We, we, they were not, uh, you know, uh, confident ki, um, what will be the next aspect of this particular strategy that I'm going to use, whether my people will start complaining, they'll come and fight with me, what will happen at the end user level. So because the end user support was not realized, there were many, many, um, I would say, um, thoughts or um, uh, restrictions in the stakeholders minds to apply these strategies so the survey continued and uh, it was realized that a developer's decision to build green doesn't necessarily hinge i'm reading this uh, because it's a fact and finding out of my thesis and that is why it makes sense i have to read out the right words so a developer's decision to build green doesn't necessarily hinge on whether it's not going to cost or cost more. It's about person's attitude and willingness. So if tomorrow Chandrasekhar Hariharan decides to make a green building, he will probably not start the design with, you know, is, is it going to cost more? What is the cost of? No. He's going to start with what is to be done? What is the implication? What is the sustainable impact? And later on, it will be turned around with the cost factor. So major stakeholders decision making process holds the utmost importance. Second, very, very interesting finding. So in my thesis, I had four or five um, parts of it. And there was one more part saying willingness to pay. And because of these research, I think um, today my firm has uh, crossed around 450 projects we are intervening. And i um, glad to share that uh, my latest project, we could achieve approximately minus 5.4% from the original cost that the person had actually estimated. So uh, such things actually come out of so many base studies that includes this willingness to pay as well. So customers are willing to pay for sustainable features as they have started valuing the environmental benefits. And that is why it is very, very important to study customers' attitude, their preferences, and buying pattern. If the developer hits these three major aspects, probably he can start understanding how the customer will approach the amount that he claims. So here in this particular project, the developer was giving all the green features we did nice branding for that person saying that you can actually claim extra money from the end user for giving so and so aspects. So before he started selling the project, all these things were worked upon and he demanded very, very clearly. So this is my price. This is my additional money that I'm charging you for the green features that are going to be there in the project. And these are the guidelines. How do you approach it? How do you maintain it? And everything was managed. And that is why the end user, who were mostly the IT crowd, the young crowd, absolutely passing out and taking heavy pay packages from IT companies, they were more than willing to pay for these particular <coughs> environmental features. And the uh, project could sell very easily within no time 
and developer not only made good money but he was very very generous in giving all these sustainable features friends barriers are realized with the implementation but if all the stakeholders are doing their own proper uh, work and not giving an excuse i think this definitely works for it and um, from this particular study i realized that there is a need of doing some studies with respect to cost and that is how it went and yes it has been around 10 years now me doing the uh, thesis but um, there is a love for studies in me and that is how i have just taken up my uh, post doc as well and it is more uh, towards the biophilic structures and of course carrying forward the same study so thanks to the lockdown my friends people actually got time to think innovate be unique and they started talking numbers even with respect to services and design so let us see what is buyers perception about green features so buyers are definitely willing to pay for green features now this study was done in a very unique way so um, there was a kradai exhibition in pune every year we have this exhibition having the maximum footfall that exceeds 2000 3000 or even 5000 as this particular study was much before the lockdown so i did not have any issues and there was a um, uh, um, link that was shared with all the buyers and they did some um, you know survey in the exhibition and they just had to fill a form very very minor form so they did that and um, approximately uh, i think the form was shared with more than 5000 people but i got a very good response of 3400 um, approximate number that is what i'm claiming and out of that particular survey these findings are realized it was an interesting thing to know that buyers with lesser affordability were willing to pay higher costs for green because they anticipated more savings in water and energy because the end uh, thought was now we have already invested in the house let us try and save whatever we can for the maintenance part of it so uh, majority buyers were willing to pay for water related landscape elements now water related landscape elements definitely include swimming pools fountains you have water bodies uh, moving around the site you have some uh, curtain wall or water wall or things like that so all these aspects were very much appreciated and people were ready to pay 3 rupees to 5 rupees per square feet of what they were ideally paying for their house and with 35% of the sample they were also ready to pay more than 7% or even higher and people were you know having this craze of um, water falling and uh, that noise coming to that uh, to their house so the uh, uh, the sound of falling water probably was one of the attraction and the developer was selling these particular garden view flats at a premium rate and people were definitely looking forward to it then um, there was another perception by the buyers that if rainwater harvesting is done very very properly so um, anticipating there won't be water issues and scarcity issues so this was another finding that if rainwater harvesting takes the lead and uh, try and recharge the bore or the pits in the maximum possible way along with some uh, rainwater harvesting tank maybe the water problems won't come so the study that i have been doing with uh, a developer uh, 13 uh, projects of his we had lot of water scarcity in pune few days ago so uh, there were projects who were just adjacent to this particular project um taking in approximately 24 water tankers in a month while this particular project was taking one tanker in a month so there was a vast difference noted in terms of water usage and both the societies were having proper water sufficiency along with that the other society who was taking in 24 tankers they complained about the water quality while this particular project who was just taking single tanker the people did not complain about water quality because they were used to that particular water what was already coming in 
so i think it makes a big difference to do the onm study with um, great depth and um, if if i'm telling this particular finding to another developer firstly they will say okay show me the empirical studies and if i'm showing the empirical studies they will then tell me oh that means good so you will do the green building for us this is the next question and the intent remains that they have to sell their project with comfort to the end user 